Hey, everybody. This is a clip from the latest episode of The Randy Road Show. If you want the full episode, you can watch live on Free Speech TV, Dish Channel 9415, Direct TV 348, Sling, Roku, and Apple TV. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey. It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Rhodes Show. Turn up your mind. This person there is in the world. If he has a birth certificate, he should release it. All I want to do is see this guy's birth certificate. If he weren't lying, why wouldn't he just solve it? And I, w- I wish he would, because if he doesn't, it's one of the greatest scams in the history of <laughs> politics and in the history period. Our current president came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. In fact, I'll go a step further. The people that went to school with him, they don't even know, they never saw him. They don't know who he is. <laughs> Crazy. They asked me, what about race relations in the United States? Now, I have to say, they were pretty bad under Barack Obama, that I can tell you. Oh, my God. He's the least racist person we know, right? Okay. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States until our country's representatives can figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. I'm the least racist person there is in the world. You know what's really interesting about that? 51% of America believes he is the most racist president we've ever had. And I guess that's including Andrew Jackson. I don't know. Uh, African Americans polled. 80% say yes, he's a racist. 11% of African Americans say no. Latinos, 55% say yes. 44 no. Whites, 46% think he's a racist. It's an interesting number, though, because 50% of white people don't think he's a racist. Democrats, 86% think he's a racist. Only 9% of us don't believe Donald Trump is a racist. Independents, thank you, independents. 56% think he's a racist. Only 38% of independents say no. But here's the doozy of a number. Here's the real beauty, okay? Here's the real, uh, you know, wow. Republicans, only 8% of Republicans think he's a racist. 91% of Republicans say he's not. All right, uh, let's listen to some uh, Trump Republicans from last night, okay? Let's listen to uh, what they like about Donald Trump and his trashing of uh, four women of color known as the squad. I enjoy the rhetoric. I enjoy when he takes shots at the squad. They're disgusting. They're liars, and they accuse him of being racist. He's not a racist, He's and not. they're just they're just stirring the pot. I think they have a right to question the president, and I think he has the right to fight back. And I don't think it's a question of color. They've decided to galvanize together and make a message, whatever message they want to go with, and he, fairly he should be able to respond to that. So I think trying to elevate this to a racist uh, viewpoint, I think, is taking it a, a little bit too far. Oh, the odd squad. Yeah, oh, I've my. heard about them. Uh, you know, I thought L stood for liberal, and then I thought L stood for leftist, but now I realize that L stands for losers. And they're just losers. That's all they are. And I do agree, if they don't like this country, pack your shit and get Honestly, I think they're all one and done, because I think they're um, making the Democrats mad, too. In a way, you got to like them because they're defining the Democrat Party. They're taking them so far left, it's reasonable, and I don't think people are interested in that. A very, very small segment of society is that far left. And if they want to pull the Democrat Party that far left, good for them. They're going to make sure Trump gets elected. <laughs> yeah. Health care, it's a leftist issue, don't you know? Uh, but using socialism, uh, backwards socialism, where we pay all the taxes and all the money goes to the top because they don't. Uh, reverse socialism, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. But uh, this this is uh, amazing how uh, they think that he is the least racist uh, president ever. (laughs) The U.S. has become a dumping ground for everybody else's problems. (laughs) Thank you. It's true. And these are the best and the finest. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people 
that have lots of problems. Oh my God. And they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. And some, I assume, are good people. But I speak to border guards, and they tell us what we're getting. Least racist. Yeah, I'm the least racist person there is in the world. A lot of people, I was surprised watching all last year with Colin Kaepernick. Guy praised a murdering thug dictator. He had socks that depicted yeah. cops as pigs. Yeah. And, and other issues he actually donated to a charity that actually supported a cop killer. And then we saw the NFL. And you took it on, it appears, based on the letter that Roger Goodell put out yesterday, that Donald Trump initiated a debate over standing for the flag and our anthem and those that fought, blood and died, and looks like you won. Fought, blood and died. So I watched Colin Kaepernick, and I thought it was terrible. And then it got bigger and bigger and started mushrooming. And frankly, the NFL should have suspended him for one game, and he would have never done it again. Huh. They could have then suspended him for two games, and they could have suspended him if he did it a third time for the season, and you would never have had a problem. But I will tell you, you cannot disrespect our country, our flag, our anthem. You cannot do that. He's so bizarre. He doesn't understand what freedom really is. Uh, you know, those of us who, uh, you know, appreciate the flag it's a cool thing i like it it's pretty it's uh you know something that needs to be treated uh, you know in a certain way if you're gonna fly it uh, most of the people that did you see that guy in the video he's wearing the flag uh you know as a piece of clothing <laughs> they don't know anything about it uh but i will tell you we do not fight for a flag we fight for a representative democracy, a representative republic, that is what we, you know, it's just, uh, really, do I need to say, this man, you know, just remember. Yeah, I'm the least racist person there is in the world. <sighs> and the least violent. I certainly don't incite violence. Knock the crap out of him. Like to punch him in the face. I don't condone violence, and uh, I don't talk about violence. I would have done well, but I would have been boom, 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 I'll beat that. I don't know if I'll do the fighting myself or if other people will. Maybe he should have been roughed up because it was absolutely disgusting what he was doing. If you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of him, would you? Seriously. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Try not to hurt him. If you do, I'll defend you in court. Don't worry about it. In the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. And when they protested once, you know, they would not do it again so easily. We've become weak. We've become weak. And you know what? The audience swung back. And I thought it was very, very appropriate. The audience hit back. And that's what we need a little bit more of now. Part of the problem and part of the reason it takes so long is nobody wants to hurt each other anymore, right? I don't know if I would have done well, but I would have been out there fighting, folks. I don't know if I would have done well, but I would have been boom, 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 I'll beat that. Do you plan on paying for the legal fees of this older gentleman in North Carolina who sucker punched oh, the oh, protester? Oh. From what I understand, he was sick, sticking a certain finger up in the air. And, so, and, and, and that is a uh, terrible thing to do and in that, front of somebody that, frankly, wants to see America made great again. It's possible you could help him with legal fees if this man needs it. I've actually instructed my people to look into it, yes. Yeah, I'm the least racist person there is in the world. And he's the most uh, peaceful person in the world. So, uh, you know, you had a school board member whose Facebook post suggested his life would be complete if Rashida Tlaib died. Uh, you have a, uh, a man who said that he wanted to put a bullet in AOC's head. Ilhan Omar uh, has done account of active groups that civil rights organizations have listed as espousing hate and that it climbed up to 1,020 from about 700 four years ago. And just today, the FBI put out an intelligence report saying that the Q and the QAnon people who 
I don't. I know you didn't watch it last night, but Donald Trump had the QAnon people on stage with him yesterday. Okay, they're no longer audience members. They're no longer babies in onesies with cues on them. No, they're now on the stage. They are dangerous. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. The magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come.